Welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am Carl Lewis, your host today. And today I'll do my best to uh, give you some uh, introduction to basic query generation in SAP Business One. Now today, what we're going to try to cover is to uh, take a look at basic query generation. And we'll talk a little about finding tables, adding fields to a query, uh, linking tables, using names and not codes, how to sort, filter, get a total, how to edit a query a little bit, and maybe uh, saving them for future use. And then I'll show you where there's a whole collection of queries that you can possibly copy and paste into your system. And if I have time, uh, because these sessions are only supposed to be about 30 to 45 minutes long, I will try to show you how to use a query in a crystal report uh, and or in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started, shall we? So here we are, we're in business one. Now, a lot of times when you go to create a query, you sort of have a starting place. And how do you find uh, you know, what that starting place is where the information that you most likely want uh, could be? Well, one way, and probably a way that many people do it the easiest, is let's say, for instance, and in our example today, uh, I'm going to be interested in information about business partners and customers in particular. So I can retrieve to my business partner screen any customer that I wish. And this is version 9.2, by the way, patch level 3, in case you were wondering. Um, and here I have a business partner record in front of me. Now I always want to go over here to uh, the View menu, and uh, I want to turn on system information. Now I can just select it from the menu, or I can hit the key strokes Control shift i and it will do the same thing. Now, if I want to report about this customer's name, for instance, if I simply hover with my mouse over the name field and look at the lower left-hand corner of the screen at the same time, there's a clue here for me that this is the, as you can see it, the last two things, the card name, that's the name of the field, and OCRD is the table where this information and a lot more information about this customer resides. So I need to remember OCRD. Don't forget that. Now, we could simply go to the Tools menu, Queries, and I'm going to show you today the Query Generator. I encourage you to uh, inspect and learn about the Query Wizard also, but I prefer the Query Generator, and I will be showing you that today. Now, here's a couple of other little things, tidbits, if you will, 